It's interesting when you look at courtesans from that time period, because like you said, they are unusually educated versus, you know, women who are of the upper class. Yes. Uh, why do you think that is? Um, I think that there's a, you know, there's a long history behind the, the division of the, you know, Madonna whore, uh, you know, a, a lot of biblical scholars, you sort of go back into history and look at the archetypes that, um, that the Bible is sort of reconfiguring. Um, Ishtar is a, a very old goddess. She is uh, the goddess of love and war from the ancient Babylonian empire. And the legend is that she was born a virgin every morning and she went to bed a whore every night. And so these, uh, you know, suppose Supposed opposites are, you know, contained in the body of, of one deity. Um, and as, you know, any person who was once a virgin and is not anymore, this can be, you know, you can be these things in, in one lifetime. But the, you know, the Bible, we divide uh, this into the two Marys, right? The Virgin Mother and then Mary Magdalene uh, that sort of occupy those, those archetypal places. Um, we see this again with, uh, with the story of Genesis. You know, Eve is... Um, of Adam, right, of Adam's rib, uh, so his sort of like daughter wife, um, naive enough to, to fall for the snake oil salesman. But an earlier version of Genesis talks about Adam's first wife, Lilith, who was made from, you know, the same clay as Adam and refused to submit to him specifically during sex, but like probably during the rest of the time too. And, you know, for this, she, she left the garden and was, was sort of demonized. But I, I think that, you know, during the Renaissance, during the, the period of time where the, the Holy Roman Empire is the governing body throughout Europe, the idea of women um, pursuing their own intellectual uh, ideas or becoming well-educated was, uh, you know, an invitation to the devil. There's a whole genre of literature uh, written during this period about why women are like so susceptible to sin. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.